The first continuous distribution in this chapter was the uniform distribution. This is the second continuous distribution, which is known as the exponential distribution. Here is the motivation for the exponential distribution. A continuous random variable x with positive support script A, which is the set of all x such that x is greater than 0, is useful in a variety of applications. For example, patient survival time after the diagnosis of a particular type of cancer. Well, in this particular case, you can't have a negative survival time. And so that one would have positive support. How about the lifetime of a light bulb? The lifetime of a light bulb cannot be negative. So this is a reasonable support for the lifetime of a light bulb. The sojourn time, waiting time plus service time for a customer purchasing a ticket at a box office. Again, sojourn time is going to be positive. The time between fires in a city, positive. The number of gallons purchased at a gas pump can't purchase a negative number of gallons. The annual rainfall at a particular location. So I hope what you see by these six examples is there's plenty of practical situations that occur uh, in practice that involve a positive random variable. Here's the definition of an exponential random variable, a continuous random variable x with probability density function f of x equals lambda e to the minus lambda x for x greater than 0 for some constant lambda, which is a positive parameter. That's an exponential lambda random variable. Now that particular probability density function can be drawn if you were to look, evaluate this expression at 0 you would get just lambda and notice for every x that is greater than 0 all this does is decrease and of course does so in an exponential fashion and the area underneath this probability density function like all probability density functions is 1. Now let's return to the six examples and see which of these might be appropriately modeled by a distribution with this shape. Patient survival time after the diagnosis of a particular cancer. Could the survival time look like this? Possible. So I'll go ahead and put a check there. The lifetime of a light bulb. Do a lot of light bulbs fail early and then a few really hang on? Possible. So I'll put a check there. Sojourn time, which is the waiting time plus the service time for a customer purchasing a ticket at a box office. That one could be and it might not be. The service time tends not to be exponential. The waiting time, depending on the type of queue, might be. So this one's a little suspect. This one I'll put a question mark by. I'm not sure if the exponential would do a good job there. Time between fires in a city. Well, if the fires are occurring randomly over time, then it would be a Poisson process. And Poisson processes have exponential time between events. So this one is certainly a possibility for the exponential distribution. The number of gallons purchased at a gas pump. Again, a positive random variable, but do most people go to the gas pump and, and, and purchase a half of a gallon or a fourth of a gallon? Are there a lot of very small purchases? Probably not. This would probably look a little more bell-shaped in terms of the number of gallons purchased. So I'm going to put this one as a no for an exponential model. How about the annual rainfall at a particular location? Is it the case that you get oftentimes very, very small amounts and then some year you get just a huge amount? That's usually not the case. Again, this will be a little more bell-shaped, so I'm going to put a no for annual rainfall as well. So again, the exponential models some positive random variables well and others not so well.